Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce to you about summation notation and the product notation. These two symbols would serve different purposes. For example, if you have a summation of i is equal to 0 until 2 with i, the answer will be 0 plus 1 plus 2. So for example, if we have summation of 1 to 2 with i, then the answer will be 1 plus 2. So the answer will be 3. So let's look at product notation. Say if we have product notation of j is equal to 0 until 3 of j, then the answer will be 0 multiply with 1 multiply with 2 multiply with 3. So the answer will be 0. So for example, if we have pi of 1 to 3, of j then the answer will be 1 multiply with 2 multiply with 3 then the answer will be 6. If that understood I'm going to show you is the combination of the formula example of summation of i is equal to 1 until 2 and the pi notation of j is equal to 0 until 3 of i plus j. So if you want to solve this right you solve the innermost part first so the answer will be summation of i is equal to 1 2 multiply with i plus 0 multiply with i plus 1 multiply with i plus 2 multiply with i plus 3 and after you wrote until here right then you can solve this part already so if you want to solve this part right so it's equal to 1 plus 0 multiply with 1 plus 1 multiply with 1 plus 2 multiply with 1 plus 3 and then addition uh, addition with 2 plus 0 multiply with 2 plus 1 multiply with 2 plus 2 multiply with 2 plus 3 so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 2 3 4 5 so the multiplication of this one is 24 24. So the answer will be 24 and addition with 2, 2 multiply 3, 6, 6, 4, 24, 24 multiply with 5 is 120. So the total answer will be 144. Is that I hope you can understand this and this is how you solve the combination of summation and product notation. Another way of solving it is solving it directly. Let me show you how to solve it directly. If you want to solve it directly, make sure you know what are you doing. So we solve this part first, i is equal to 1. So it will be i, this one is starting from 0 until 3. So it's become 1 plus 0. And then 1 plus 1. And then 1 plus 2. And then 1 plus 3. And after you finish this part right, then you're going to increment it, become 2. So it become 2 plus 0 we are still solving this part and then 2 plus 1 and then 2 plus 2 and then 2 plus 3 and because this is a summation right so we are going to add this together so the answer will be 1 2 3 4 and then this one is 2 3 4 5 so the total is multiply 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 so the answer is 120 and this one multiply you would get 24 so the answer is still the same 144 if you want to do like this right you need to be careful be careful to make sure you didn't do any mistake for me i will do like this if you have any question you can drop down the comment below